Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's a pretty nice morning. It's probably about 70, 70 degrees. I've been out here since pretty much daylight feeding the bees and I just finished up and I got a little uh, little tip to pass on to everyone. And it may be something that you can do for yourself and it works very good. And I'm gonna show you here in a second if I can get at the right light here. The glare on the camera that I got the sun behind me but we should have a pretty good picture right here okay where's that queen I just spotted her she may have walked around the other side I really don't need to see her I just wanted to what I want to show you is how you can see mites with your cell phone so there's a queen right there she sits right there in the center it's very easy to do and this will help a lot of people that that can't see very good and this will also help you spot eggs inside the cells that you may not be able to see and here's what i do it, it's very simple come out to your hives and find some fr frames that you want to inspect for for mites so then what you do is just take a few still shot pictures and then go into your gallery either on your phone or your uh your camera or on your computer however you want to do it and then all you got to do is zoom in just like I'm doing right here I'm doing it from the video and what you'll do you'll pan across that frame real slow and you're you're looking for uh, wing damage and then also you can zoom in in so much detail with these cameras anymore and these phones they got so much detail if there's mites on their backs you'll be able to spot them and that's a real good way this works we we do this little trick all the time and it works excellent and i mean you can take a picture of, of this side of the frame flip it over take a picture of the other side or you can get somebody to help you and hold them you can do a whole 10 frame take 20 pictures and you really wouldn't even have to do that many because you know you just kind of want an average out of a 10 frame if you took two pictures two or three pictures and then upload them and zoom in on them and scroll and pan across that frame if there's mites on those bees you will see them and you will also you're looking for the wings if they're uh, like tethered like tore uh, from mite damage you, you'll be able to tell but I want to share that tip because that I've not seen anybody do a video on this yet and it works excellent. It's a really good way of seeing in detail your frames and even inside the cells. Sometimes people can't spot the little eggs in there and they're not sure if they got a queen and they just can't spot the eggs. Well, I tell you, by doing this, you'll be able to spot them very easily. But that's what I wanted to share today. I want to show you something else over here we got this morning. We got a October, what is today? Uh, 4th, October 4th maybe. We got a little swarm. And the only thing I didn't do different on this was I put two frames in there and they were just plain old empty. They was drawn out frames. And I put a little bit of swarm commander in and the bees don't want to take off inside as well. And the reason, and one, one little trick that we do all the time, we put the frame that has eggs in it so i'm gonna put a frame of eggs pull out one of those other frames put a frame of eggs they should march right in then um, it works excellent for us it helps them stay it also this time of year you know you're in october so if you start off with like that frame i just showed you over there shake the bees off of it drop it in there it'll give them a boost it'll take that swarm from having to build up slowly to building that box up quickly and then you got enough time you could even uh, move it over to a, a five frame there's ways of getting these swarms through the winter sometimes you just gotta uh well all the time especially this late you gotta help them out a little bit help boost them you know it, and then if you put them in a five frame drop you another frame of cat brood inside if you have it but if not say say you just don't have bees to spare well, that's the good thing about these two framers, which I talked about before, just put the feed to them. Just feed them, feed them, feed them. 
and those they won't take them along at all to get that filled out for you so that's about it for today i want to show that tip i've been thinking about that and wanted to share it with you so try that for yourself see how that works uh, there's the queen again right there in the center and don't forget uh, click on the little bell like and subscribe and uh, 2019 we're selling bees right now if you if you want package nukes for 2019 the quicker you order them the quicker you'll get them and that's about it thanks for watching barnyard bees